Hello friends and welcome to the third tutorial in the series of tutorials on Python for scientific computing. This session is a continuation of the tutorial on plotting experimental data. We shall look at plotting experimental data using slightly advanced methods here and then look into some statistical operations. In the previous tutorial we learned how to read data from a file and plot it. We used for loops and lists to get data in the desired format. IPython hyphen pylab also provides a function called loadtxt that can get us the same data in the desired format without much hustle. We shall use the same pendulum.txt file that we used in the previous session. We know that pendulum.txt contains two columns with length being the first and time period being the second. In order to get both the columns in two separate variables we type l comma t equal to loadtxt within quotes pendulum.txt which is a file name comma unpack equal to true with capital T. Unpack equal to true will give us all the data that is in the first column which is the length in, in the variable L and all the data in the second column which is the time period in T. Here both L and T are arrays. We shall look into what arrays are in detail in subsequent tutorials. To know more about load text type load txt question mark and hit enter. This is a really powerful tool to load data directly from files which are well structured and formatted. It supports many features like getting selected co columns only or skipping rows. Let's now get back to the problem. Hit Q to exit. Now to get the squared values of t we can simply do txq equal to t star t. Note that we haven't used the for loop here. This is the benefit of arrays. If we try to do something similar using lists, we won't be able to escape the use of the for loop. Let's now plot L versus TSQ just as we did in the previous session. Plot L comma TSQ comma within quotes O. Note that the plot is the same as that we got in the previous tutorial. Let's continue with a pendulum experiment to obtain the value of acceleration due to gravity. The basic equation for finding time period of a simple pendulum is t equal to 2 pi root l by g. Rearranging this equation, we obtain the value of g as 4 pi squared into l by t squared. In this case, we have the values of l and 2 t already. So to find the value of g for each element, we can simply use t g equal to 4 star pi star pi star l by t squared. g here is an array. We can take average of all these values to get the acceleration due to gravity by typing print mean of g. As you can see the value of the mean acceleration due to gravity is 9.14 and so on. Mean again is provided by PyLab module which calculates the average of a given set of values. There are other handy statistical functions available such as median, mode and std for standard deviation. In this small session we have covered a better way of loading data from text files and we have learnt why arrays are a better choice than lists in some cases and how they are more powerful with mathematical operations. Hope it was useful to you. Thank you.